In this video, we're going to find the limit of the function that you see here uh, numerically. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is we're going to uh, build a table, okay, or actually two tables. Uh, the first table, we're going to let x approach 0 from the left side, and the second table, we're going to let x approach 0 from the right side, okay? All right, so... Okay, so in this column, this will be x. In this column, this will be the y values. Okay. All right. So, okay. So let's choose x. Let's start with 0 0.01. And then we have 0 0.001. And then 0 0.0001. Okay. So plugging these in, okay, into our function, okay, we're going to get 1.9949, okay, 1.9995, and then 1.9999, okay. So as x approaches 0 from the left, the y values are approaching the value of 2, okay? All right, and that's what we clearly see from, from our graph here, okay? So for this graph, we have a hole in it, okay, at 0, 2. So as x approaches 0 from the left, the y values are getting closer and closer to 2, okay? So now we're going to build a table uh, allowing x approaching or letting x approach 0 from the right side. Okay, so Okay, so we're going to have 0 0.01 0 0.001 0 0.001 0 0 0 0 Okay? All right, and okay, so for the y values for this, okay, we're gonna get 2.00499, 2.00499, uh, 2.0005, and then 2.00005, okay. So as x is approaching, zero from the right side, the y values are getting closer and closer to two, okay? So again, this is allowing us to see or to observe what's happening locally around uh, x equal to zero, okay? Allowing to, it's allowing us to see what's happening to the y values, okay? All right, so in this, for this one, this is the limit as x approaches zero of our function, we got two. And over here, we have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side for our function is also approaching 2. Okay, so therefore, the overall result or the overall limit as the limit of our function as x approaches 0 is going to be the 2. Okay, again, so the right hand, the right hand limit and the left hand limit approach the same y value. Okay. Later, in a, in a separate video, we're going to sh show you how to do this algebraically, okay? Um, so that will involve rationalizing the uh, denominator, and then from there, things will cancel out, and then we can take the, uh, we can do what's called direct substitution, okay? But in the meantime, we're trying to understand limit from the, uh, just from a graphical standpoint of view, okay? And again, notice here that uh, the function value at zero uh, does not exist. In fact, if you do right, so if we plug x equals zero into our function, uh, we get we get what's called indeterminate result. In this case, we get zero over zero. Okay, so this is another example where the limit exists, but the function value does not exist at that point. Okay, so f of zero right does not exist. Okay, all right, so 
Uh, so again, this is just another example where the limit exists at the point, but the function value does not exist. Okay, so the limit, okay, so again, uh, the function value doesn't have to exist there, okay, uh, for the limit to exist, okay.